Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe. Welcome to the 2133rd edition of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar. Good evening, traders. Before we get started, please remember there's extreme risk in what we do. This is a very risky business. You can lose more than you have in your trading accounts. Everyone should know that. You can absolutely get destroyed selling short futures, selling short options. This is not suitable for everybody. Put your stops in first and never trade without them. All right, traders, this video is for trading on Monday night through Tuesday, July 14, 2020. Please forgive me for doing another one of these desktop shoots. And I know that the audio is only coming out of one channel but I can't get in front of my camera and do my regular videos like I like, you know, the fun ones where I'm in front of the camera and I show some charts, kidding around a little too, but I can't do them right now because my editors, their family has come down with corona, the kids themselves that edit for me have not, but I've got to keep them quarantined from me for 14 days, so we've got about another nine of these videos coming at us, maybe less, nine actual days, maybe five videos, and then I can get back to normal. So, ah, the theme of tonight's video, to teach you a very strong lesson, the theme of tonight's video is never interfere. Plan a trade, then trade that plan, and never veer from your plan. Now, I kid you not, there is a lesson here. The lesson is not interfering. I spend my entire life in a live trading room at livewithoscar.com and I exude this exact such behavior week in and week out, never interfere. So I run the Omni and whether we're winning or losing, I keep my own thoughts out of it. I plan a trade, all my Omniacs start to follow me, they take the recommendations, then we trade that plan. Well, even I can succumb sometimes, kids, and here's what happened today. We were short gold at the Omni level as expected. Gold, the market was slow. It didn't do much for us. It was against us for a while. It was in our favor for a while. It was near break even. At the same time, a trade that was not an official Omni, the NASDAQ. NASDAQ market came roaring down almost 200 points. So I got us out of the short gold and into a long NASDAQ today on Monday. It was today Monday? Okay, good. <laughs> the NASDAQ stopped us out, knucklehead me for putting us in, and the gold dropped into a nice fat profit objective, but we were already out of the trade. Why did that happen? Because I planned the trade, but then I did not trade that plan. I, tr I traded half the plan, and then I personally interfered. I played trading God and interfered with what we were doing, and that cost us. My apologies, Omniacs, that will not happen again. Even I can succumb sometimes. You won't see that behavior from me for quite some time. Never interfere. Once you've planned the trade, trade that plan. So, ES now for trading on Monday night through Tuesday. This same chart with the simple resistance analysis I've been showing you for day after day for 10 days now. What did the market do? Gets up above that resistance line for one day. And what ends up happening? Takes out the stops above a double top drops back down and now we can go with when we see a double top we sell a double top now that it's established and we will be selling e mini s p on a rally if we can get filled for trading on tuesday let me show you another chart here let me just show you where the crime happened today never interfere children so here we are not in the nasdaq safe as could be I decide to get us out of a good gold trade, which ended up winning, and put us long NASDAQ. And instead of getting a nice long rally up, we got an outside reversal bar put in where the low of Monday's low is even lower than the low of Friday, as you can see right here. And the high of today's NASDAQ is higher than the high of Friday. You can see right there. That's considered an outside reversal if, in fact, the close is lower than the bar next to it. And it is. NASDAQ closed lower than the bar next to it, deemed an outside reversal day. 
And we were stopped out by interfering. I promise to not do that again. All right, traders, that is today's lesson. If you were in my trading room, you've seen that, ha that lesson happen live before your eyes. So it will not happen again. No interfering. Remember, with this inside, excuse me, with this outside reversal that has taken place in your NASDAQ, take a look at this channel right here. Let's make it a different color so that you can't miss it. Um, anything red, boom. Look at this channel right here. The NASDAQ popped out of the channel, raced back down in it, and then settled below here, making it an outside reversal back into this long-term channel. So that means as that could race its way back down to the bottom of that red channel, very well could happen on Tuesday into Wednesday. Traders, once again, never interfere. Follow the Omni. Follow your own trading plan if you don't know how to follow the Omni. And never, ever interfere. Plan a trade, then trade that plan. Join me at LiveWithOscar.com in my live trading room. No credit cards, no gimmicks. Join me there, and I promise you will not see me interfere in any other trades this week. All right, traders, remember to keep your emotions out of trading. One of the best things you can do, in my opinion, to keep those emotions at bay, and I know that's not easy, but try this. Sorry, kids, I need a sip of water. <laughs> Say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening. And you know what that is. Stops are in. E Traders, you cannot stick up for me and tell me the only reason why this happened today was because of the news that Newsom was shutting down California again. The reason why Omniax lost today on Monday was because I interfered with the good gold trade and put us into the NASDAQ. No interfering and stops are in, emotions are out.